course, I want to thank Chris and Sam from American Express. So those are really the introductions. Uh, this is the agenda we're going to cover. We'll talk a little bit about American Payment Solutions, who we are as a company. We're then going to, I'm going to cover briefly the American Express OpLoo program and what that means for your business. Then Chris will go into the vendor payable program with American Express. And then Sam will follow up with the program with travel and expense with American Express. And then we'll follow with Q&A. At this time, we're actually going to run our first poll. So please uh, take a look at that and answer those accordingly. So go ahead and launch that, Adrian. Are you using a credit card processing solution today? So if you could just uh, take a second to answer yes or no. We really appreciate it. Thank you, audience. So I see 50% of you have voted, 63%. Oh, we had somebody else join, so we went back down to 56. Thank you for taking time out to, to answer this poll on the screen here. We're still at 56. Can we get to 100? It looks like we still have people logging in, so um, we'll just take a little more time here. We're at 78%. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this out and then just share the results real quick. 71% of you in the audience, it looks like, are using a credit card processing solution. And 29% are not. I'm going to go ahead and hide those results and let Jeff proceed. Thank you so much. Okay, a little bit about American Payment Solutions. So we've been in the processing uh, industry for 10 years. We process for thousands of merchants both in U.S. and Canada, so we're excited to be in Canada now. Uh, we service multiple verticals. One would be retail, so brick and mortar stores, uh, wholesale manufacturing. We have a number of integrations which we're going to cover on the next slide. We, we also focus on the, or have a vertical in the hospitality industry which includes a big portion of hotels, uh, e-commerce, and then obviously mobile solutions as well. Currently our, our customer monthly processing volume ranges from 2,000 a month all the way up to 10 million a month, and we process over 50,000 transactions annually. We have level three, uh, level two and level three processing available, so if you're doing business to business transactions or business to government transactions, that's a product that you should definitely be definitely be looking at and we can talk after this about that in particular and all of our our customer support is held in-house so we do customer service in-house we actually get a live person and we do all of our own PCI compliance and we offer that service to our clients for absolutely free so here are some of the integrations I know there might be some some companies online that that are using an ERP or an accounting software. So we have integrations into QuickBooks Pro, Premier Enterprise, Acumatica, Sage 100, 300, NetSuite, and Microsoft GP. There are a number of other integrations that we do have. Um, so that's a case-by-case -case scenario. So if you're using an accounting software or an ERP that you do not see on this list, please reach out to Tricia and we can do a follow-up call after that. With that, I'm going to get into the, uh, the OpLoo program. So it was established by American Express in May of 2014 and this program is really specifically designed for small to medium sized merchants to lower the fees to accept American Express at their place of business. As we know as a merchant you know there's always this this understanding that hey accepting American Express is very expensive and they understood that they wanted to be more more competitive and this really has leveled the playing field as far as the fees associated with American Express. The um, the program allows you know, the different merchant service providers to offer wholesale rates to their clients via American Express instead of processing directly with American Express. And again, the, the, uh, the interchange rates are really determined by the type of business and the size of transactions that they're actually, uh, actually running. Go ahead, uh, Tricia. So some of the benefits of the program, are we going into a poll here? I thought you were prompting me for how are you paying your vendors and suppliers? Would this be an okay time to launch this poll? Yeah, we can do the poll and then I'll go into the benefits of Opflu. Perfect. Audience, if we could just get a moment of your time to answer this poll. 
How are you paying your vendors and suppliers? Um, American Express, Visa, MasterCard, check, ACH, other? We have 45%. 55% of you voted. 64. Can we get up to 100? 73. 73. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out and uh, share the results. And here are the results. It looks like American Express, Express 38%, Visa 13, MasterCard 0, uh, Check 38, and other 13. I'm going to hide the results and let you go ahead and proceed. Jeff, thank you so much. Thank you, Adrian. So um, the benefits of the OPLU program, first of all, it lowers the fees by accepting uh, to accept American Express through your merchant service provider. And we did an analysis of our, our client base uh, from Amex Direct, and then we boarded them on OPLU. And on average, we've seen close to a 1% savings on all transactions. So it's been significant for our clients. And initially, when we went in to talk to merchants, we really didn't talk about American Express and since the Oplu program we, we really lead with that with American Express with this conversation so you know by offering Oplu it really has leveled the playing field as far as fees compared to Visa, MasterCard and Discover. Another benefit by boarding is you're going to have boarding Oplu is you're going to have a single statement for all card brands so typically the process was you would have a merchant account with your merchant service provider you would have a, a second account with American Express so you'd be getting two separate statements by boarding on off blue with one merchant service provider you'll have a single statement so it'll be bundling those services uh, also next day funding on American Express and all card brands typically the funding time when you're when you're processing with Amex direct is two to three days well, through the Oplu program, we're able to offer next day funding on all card brands, including uh, American Express. So for reconciliation purposes, this is, this is extremely helpful. Um, another thing is monthly discount compared to daily discount. So typically when you hold a, a merchant service account with American Express, they're going to be withholding daily discount from your deposit for that day. With the Oplu program, we actually, it's a true deposit on exactly all of those transactions and then the discount is taken out at the end of the month. So that, that is also useful for cash flow purposes. Uh, customer service support. Now you have one company that you can go to instead of having to call on Amex transactions directly to American Express, you're calling one merchant service provider to offer support on all of those different card brands, including American Express. And then uh, again, the, the underwriting with the customer service cause co comes underwriting, chargeback support, and all general support when it comes to your merchant account. So having one one contact for, for all support, regardless of the card brand, is also very useful. And um, these are really the, the bulk of the benefits by boarding on Oplu with American Express. Ultimately, saving money is a good thing, but bundling all the services and having one point of contact and next day funding have, have been the, uh, the real key factors that our, our clients are very happy with. So. Since we've already run the poll, I think at this point what we're doing is we're, we're moving it over to Chris, and he's going to show you how uh, some of the other programs that American Express offers can offset those costs with uh, the Oplu program. Take it away, Chris. All right, Jeff, thank you very much, and thank you for everybody that's taking time out of your day to join us. Um, so we, myself and my colleague, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the corporate card and the purchasing card side for paying vendors, suppliers, operational expenses, as well as travel and entertainment. So I want to make that clear. We're not on the merchant side. Um, we're here as a partnership with APS just for the simple reason there's a great synergy with not only um, offsetting any fees on, merch on the merchant side through our program, as well as integration into most accounting softwares that they also integrate with. So. I um, want to thank you for that. Most of my companies that I work with find this program specifically appealing because they've increased cash flow management as well as a way to drive new and substantial revenue stream back to their organization, um, either through a membership rewards program or a possible cash rebate program, depending on qualification. Um, I've, we've got multiple companies that have earned upwards of $100,000 or more in annual return, and that's obviously based on whatever amount of spend you're putting on when you're paying vendors and suppliers. So Trisha, stay right there. That's my, actually my next slide. 
Um, so really we offer a platform, a two-platform program. First platform is our vendor payable solutions and cards. And we also provide our uh, best-in-class travel and entertainment, which I'm sure you've heard about that. That's what we cut our teeth on. And this is what my colleague Sam Davis will be touching on in a bit. Trisha, next slide, please. For Adrian. Thank you. Um, so this kind of, kind of gives a little bit of bullet points of the benefits of the corporate card payment program for paying vendors. With our vendor payment solution, you have the ability to drive substantial return through a tax-free membership rewards program and or qualified cashback rebate program. So it kind of depends on what your situation is, and we'll go into more detail on a one-to-one -one basis if people are interested in learning a little bit more about this program. Um, I always like to ask my companies, one of the main questions I, when I do go in on appointments is what it would take to earn the same, same amount in sales to earn, say, twenty-five dollars to $50,000 in bottom line net profit through this program. So obviously you know what your sales are to, to reach your bottom line. So this is a, a great way to drive substantial revenue, doing the same thing you're already doing, and to offset your, your merchant side with APS. Um, also allow you to hold your money longer, which for a lot of companies that are in growth mode right now, it's really important to them and gaining spender, better spend visibility. Adrian, next slide. Thank you. So here's an example. I love this slide because it actually shows the benefit of float utilizing our corporate card program. If you look at the first section, that's your typical vendor payment. Let's just say you have net 30 terms you receive your invoice, you typically will pay within 30 days. The money's already out of your account. There's no cash flow. You're not getting a return. In scenario two, using American Express, same results. You receive your invoice, you do your three-way match. Typically on day 30, when you would be paying your vendor with a check, you're going to authorize us to pay them. You would not even get the statement until the end of the cycle, and then you have 30 days to pay. So you, you can gain really a lot of times up to 60 days worth of extra float by utilizing this program and driving a return at the same time. So depends on when you when you pay obviously in the cycle, but um, once you receive the invoice from us on the membership reward program, the corporate program, you've got 30 days to pay the invoice back to us. Adrian, next slide please. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about our automation and our integration software. This is the beauty of our partnership with APS. We have an automation software that's a point-and-click software for paying vendors and suppliers that accommodates most of the accounting softwares, the major ones. If you look in that first box, that gives you some examples of some of the accounting softwares that we do have the software for. Next slide, Adrian. So how does it work? Uh, one more. Nope, are we missing one? There should be one. Uh, what is RewardWorks? Are you saying RewardWorks is your complete accounts payable solution? Yeah, it should be the, the next slide after that. I thought there was one other slide after that. Just move to the next one. If not, I can just uh, touch on it high level. It's not a big deal. Yeah, just stay there. That's fine. Um, so what is, what is the automation program? What does it look like? Um, what RewardWorks does, it's a point-and-click solution that works with all those um, accounting systems on the left in the left box, plus we have a few more that we've added, um, where you can actually, it integrates within your AP system, it allows you to sort and determine which vendors you want to pay, um, whether it's one or a thousand, quite frankly, and um, it actually can email the vendor's authorized authorization to pay if you have their email within the general ledger, so it's a complete automated system. It also reconciles on the back end and pushes back into the system. So um, one of the complaints that I hear a lot of times with people that have used cards in the past to pay vendors and suppliers is they say they love it, they love the benefits of the float, they love the benefits of the return, but it's it's a, a nightmare to reconcile at the end of the month. Well with this system it completely reconciles for you so it takes that problem away and also um, saves a whole lot of time and money on printing and stuffing checks, the postage, and all the other costs. I know that Wall Street Journal did a comparison per remittance, and they, they're saying that approximately it's $12 per check on average if you were to do a check versus about $1.10 using RewardWorks. So the soft costs on that with labor, with the stamps, 
with the you know the time involved is pretty substantial. Um, next slide. So I just wanted to briefly touch on one of my companies that I worked with last year that decided they just ultimately wanted to do a one card AP solution under the membership rewards program. They her biggest pain points were she wanted to be able to extend float. She did want to reduce check writing and she wanted the earnings to be non-taxable with which the membership rewards program is. So we accomplished all that. They earned approximately $50,000 back in return non-taxable, which was extremely exciting for the CFO. She was, she was hiring um, two on her AP staff and she was looking at it as a way to pay their salary. So she was pretty tickled about it. Um, and I just, I can't stress enough, this is also a great way to offset any merchant fees that you may be, you know, that you may be incurring. So it's a great way to not only pump more money into one of your line items on your P&L, but also to take care of that. And that's really all that I have on that. So that being said, I'd like to hand it over to my colleague, Sam Davis, to talk about travel entertainment. Unless, do we have a poll prior to this or? No, I think we, we're good here. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. Hey, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Uh, this is Sam Davis with American Express. And uh, uh, Chris was just focusing a little bit on our vendor payable side. And I'm going to kind of touch a little bit on our, our travel and entertainment uh, expenses side of things. So kind of the first slide here, I just it shows, you know, kind of a dedicated card for our travel and expense as we go out there. Um, but it really kind of, I'm going to kind of touch on liability options, um, select billing payment options, and things of that sort. And, and kind of touch a little bit on the travel and the insurance coverages for each of those card members as you get them out there on the road traveling around, uh, you know, the nationwide or, or worldwide. And then finally, touch a little bit on the membership rewards platform and as well as, you know, like Chris mentioned, a little bit of the cash back uh, rebates that American Express is offering. Um, that might be something that you haven't heard in the past from American Express. So uh, a little bit of the variety of spin categories is down there below. This shows you a little bit of the wide range of uh, products and services that American Express can provide for our clients there. Next slide, please, Tricia. Um, so I think we went a little too far on that one. It should be liability options. Um, can go one more and see where it came up. Okay, so let me uh, touch briefly on uh, our liability options uh, as we go through this uh, with our programs. Um, American Express, when we come to, and this is really what sets us apart within our competitors out there, the liability options, the clients come to us and say, hey, you know, we, we're putting people on the road and, and, and we've seen in the past that if we give somebody, utilize a card that's in the company name, uh, they're gonna go out there and they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna go rogue. They're gonna spend more money than what they should uh, if they had their own card and were submitting their own expense report and, and required to pay their own card. So what American Express did years ago, uh, this program has been running for 100 plus years, but what we've done years ago is we set up two different liability options for these platforms. And one of the ones to, to offset that, that concern for our companies is the, is the co combined liability option, meaning that you have shared liability with the, each of these travelers that are out there. So that individual traveler, when we set this platform up, is going to be required to go through, uh, you know, just a basic uh, uh, promotional credit run, uh, where this utilizes making sure they're they're able to get a card through American Express, and then what it does is allows them to see their own statement, reconcile that statement, uh, and either have the company pay back that, that individual card or go through that side. So it allows them to have a little skin in the game, if you will, on what we call combined liability exposure with these companies. And the next one is our full corporate liability. And this is typical for what Chris was talking about. Full corporate liability means company expenses. It might be executives that are on this uh, uh, deal where, you know, the company is going to pick up those costs and it, the less risk for the company out there because they are company related expenses. Um, so, you know, when, they, and when you have the different liability options, it rolls into different flexible payment options as well. Um, so underneath that combined liability, you have individuals that can receive their own statement and pay their, their bill before or as soon as they get reimbursed on their expense report, they can pay American Express. And it can be that it's all inclusive. It's one-off where the company doesn't have to have a lot of um, 
you know, visibility into that, the company, the individual traveler can do most of that. Or what the most common is, and what we do at American Express personally, is we receive our own statement through our, uh, we call my corporate, manage my card account. We can log in AmericanExpress.com. I can see all this, the, the individual transactions that come on in my statement. I can reconcile within our electronic expense management tool. And I can, uh, you know, I send it over for approval, uh, multiple layer approval. And then the company pays uh, my invoice or my expense report and my card back to me. And then finally, the last billing option and payment option is combined liability or, or I mean, excuse me, combined um, company bill central pay, meaning that all the cards, all the supplemental cards roll up under one single statement. You can reconcile that way and the company pays the bill. So that, that is a couple of the flexible billing options here. So as we get to the, the most recent slide here, the benefits of these cards. I'm sure most uh, folks out there have heard American Express or, or have seen a lot of American Express cards or even used them with uh, companies prior to this as well. But as you look at these cards, typically a green card is for your, your, your travelers out there. It might be a sales professionals. It might be individuals that are on the road. And depending on the volume of spend that the company does, these cards are either going to be free for an annual fee or very minimal annual fee uh, to utilize this program. And as you go up in the, the different card types, you can see the, it gets a little bit longer, you know, as far as the, the features and benefits of each of these cards. You know, gold card is going to offer a little bit more than your green card. But the green card starts with the basic insurance coverage of $350,000 per individual uh, from door to door uh, coverage, which is much different uh, than any of the other cards out there, being door to door versus being on a plane, train, automobile type of uh, you know, segmented uh, insurance. As you go up the, the card types, you know, uh, the gold card is typically for your, your middle level executives, you know, it might be a VP level, it might be a director level, depending on how you're structured your company. And then also all the way up to a platinum card, which, you know, it, it has a, a fee associated with that. But typically, if anybody utilizes that card within the first several trips, that fee is uh, covered by you know, whether it be the $100 airline credit fee or car rental coverages, uh, the concierge service, it is a, a card that is well-renowned within the industry. Next slide, please. So, and all these, and what Chris focused on with that, uh, his success story was, it was, a lot of the companies are taking advantage of membership reward points. They're tax-free. It's uh, one point for every dollar spent within the program. And we have two platforms um, you know, based off of our customers and, and what they're looking for. One of them is our corporate membership rewards, meaning that any card that's in the program, you have the capability to enroll it in corporate membership rewards where all the points pull back into the organization and those the organization use those points for offsetting um, any nonprofit uh, donations or charitable donations. You can use that for uh, travel related services. You can cash that in for gift cards, whatever it may be that helps the company within the organization, but you have the opportunity to pool them. The next slide would be uh, the classic membership rewards where you can utilize those for individuals. So if you have a, a road warrior that's away from his family, his or her family for any given length of time, and you really like to let them utilize that program, let them enroll into that platform, it can, those points can be utilized for the individual card holder or maybe it's an executive within your company that wants to keep his points, his or her points on that side as well. So there's flexibility within the points program as well. And next slide. You can, okay, thank you. Uh, so in the next one here is, it's, I just want to briefly touch on the technology services that American Express has, has and, and, and is good for our clients. The far right over there is manage your card account. I briefly spoke about that. This just allows your individual traveler to know what expenses out there and manage your card account, whether it be via mobile, um, they can, from their, their smartphone, they can access their mobile phone, they can take pictures of expense reports and, and upload them into their system. There's a lot of different op opportunities as far as the technology side goes. And also the program administrative tools. You as a company can elect individuals with varying degrees of administrative rights within the organization, whether or not they have full rights where they can order cards, delete cards, run customized reporting, uh, or just the ability to just to look at a report or print a report. You know, it can be varying uh, different levels of, of uh, administrative rights there. Um, and last slide here, I just want to get into a, uh, a quick uh, success story uh, to talk about what we did in 2015 with the client. 
Um, so their client needs was, you know, they have uh, 65 plus travelers that were on the road uh, and they really wanted, you know, that 24 seven service uh, for those employees traveling out there um, within, within the U.S. Uh, so they, they really looked at the American Express platform as an opportunity for us being, you know, in 128 different countries, 2,200 locations worldwide, and, and offering that, that, that service uh, within our uh, in consecutive years with the JD Power Award for customer service. But they also wanted the travel uh, insurance benefits and to be able to drive a significant return, not only for the travelers out there uh, collecting the membership reward points, also within the, the AP or the accounts payable spend. So what we did is, and this kind of shows a little bit of the flexibility that we have to work with all different client types and all different types of industries, is the ability to blend a program. You know, for those individual travelers, we would put them on what we call travel and entertainment platform, and then we also utilize the accounts payable platform as well. Uh, you know, bringing back a dual membership rewards and cash back rebate. Uh, this individual uh, company uh, implemented a 25 card purchasing card program for the accounts payable and then also which was about uh, nine million dollars worth of volume on this side and they also were able to utilize uh, the, the, uh, uh, the travel and entertainment platform resulting in about hundred and twenty five thousand dollar rebate back to their organization. So uh, they were able to use that to offset their travel expenses uh, their holiday party as well as, uh, you know, their charitable organization. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to kind of uh, close it up here and, and, and flip that back over to, to Chris and Jeff. But, uh, you know, what we really want to get out of today is the opportunity here with the American Express and the APS relationship is, you know, to bring back a significant return uh, and also save the company and individual companies uh, a significant amount of money. So, Chris, do you want to add anything on that? Yeah, I just a uh, great, great uh, presentation, by the way, Sam. I just like to add um, a lot of companies come for that specific reason. They stay for the automation and the visibility. So you not only get the great return from the program, whether it be cash membership rewards, you also get the complete AP automation that's going to free up your AP staff. It gives you better visibility and control over any travel and entertainment. You can put limits on the travel cards. Um, as well as some other inclusionary and exclusionary um, stoppages. So um, that's really all I have to add. I think it's a great opportunity and great synergy with us and APS, quite frankly, because we all overlap on the same accounting software as well as the opportunity for you to drive, return, and offset any fees that may be incurred on the merchant side. So um, that's all I got. Jeff, back to you. That's great, Chris. And, and you guys will see a poll up. Please uh, take the time to, to answer that. And again, we do appreciate obviously partnering with Amex and providing this information with all three of these programs. And, you know, they're really stepping up to, to help out businesses. And I think ultimately that's what we want to do as a company is, is help not only our clients, but business in general uh, thrive and, and be successful. So with that said, Adrian, do you want to um, close out this poll real quick? Sure. Well, uh, we have 45% voted. I'd like to see us get closer to 100. So, audience, if you can, just take a moment of, the, of time. If you have not answered this poll, we really appreciate you taking the time to answer it. We do have some several questions and one more poll after this. Um, and I do want to announce the questions while we're going through these polling. So, the first question is, uh, we are using another company for our credit card processing. How hard is it to switch? Sure, I'll answer that. So the process is really fairly fairly simple. We um, typically what we do is we would do an analysis of your current fees and, and a discovery call to better understand how you're accepting credit cards, what platforms you might be using as far as accounting, software, ERP, point of sale system. Uh, once we do that discovery call, it's really depending on volume. It's it's filling out an application and and then um, boarding the account. So typically, from start to finish, we can have you boarded in in about a week's time. Uh, but we make it as smooth as possible for for clients to switch, and and the process is is fairly seamless. And it looks like seventy percent of the audience answered the poll. Are you interested in learning more about APS credit card processing? 29% says yes, say yes, and then not at this time, 71%. I'm going to go ahead and hide those results. Launch one more poll here. 
And are you interested in learning how American Express programs can help your business? If you could, audience, if you could just take one more moment to answer this last poll, we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we do have a couple more questions. Let's see, how do we identify which vendors we can use or we can pay using American Express? Sam, you want me to get that or you want to handle it? Hey, Chris. I'll, I'll fill in okay. if you need. Okay. Um, so here's how we pretty much will do. We're, we're pretty much a full service. Me and Sam are um, reps out in the field. So what we do if a company is interested in finding out what vendors can be paid. We do a full vendor analysis. What we would do is get a vendor file from you. We run it through our merchant services. Because we're a closed loop, we own both, both sides of it. So we know which merchants already accept. So we run it through our system. We get a report back stating, you know, do they accept, do they not accept, are there any terms and conditions based on your company? And then from there, we come up with a game plan on you know who we can onboard and what are which ones are the beneficial ones for you to pay. Um, Sam, you have any anything you want to add to that? No, I, I, that's I think that's a great question and it's a, a very a concern a lot of uh, clients have with ours. And yeah, like you said, Chris, yeah, it's a it's a very seamless process. That's part of one uh, one of the first steps that we go through uh, when meeting it with a client is you know identifying what the opportunity is um, with each of these individual uh, vendors and suppliers. So yeah, you're right on with that. And it looks like we have 67% uh, of the audience who has voted for this last poll. Anyone else out there who could take a second to answer this poll? I'm going to go ahead and close it out in uh, one moment here and share the results. 67% uh, yes. I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And we have one more question, um, it looks like, and audience, I just want to remind you there is a question mark next to your name on the web webinar pane. If you do have a question, please click on that question mark button and a dialog box will open up where you can key in your question and I will read it off for the panelists. Um, do we have the ability to set limits on any of our travel and entertainment cards? Yeah, and I'll take that. The, the travel and entertainment side, yeah, you have the capabilities uh, on the uh, combined liability platform to set whatever limits are necessary for those clients, uh, whether it be a daily limit, um, uh, monthly limit, uh, you know, per transaction limit. We have a, a lot of different capabilities on that platform to set any limits that you're looking for to, to taking care of there. No problem at all. And it doesn't look like we have any further questions. I want to thank the audience. I know your time is hard to come by, and we really appreciate you spending it with us. Fantastic presentation. Sam, Chris, Jeff, you guys offered so much information. It's always nice to learn how you can get your rebates and how you can get you know, credit cards to pay you back so you can invest more in your business and just run more efficiently. So thank you for sharing all that useful information with us. And uh, would you guys like to offer any closing remarks? Yeah, I'd like to say one thing. If if you guys, if anyone has any questions out there or wants to do a follow up call, uh, you'll see Tricia Hardigan's uh, information there. So please feel free to write that down and reach out to Tricia, and she she will facilitate a meeting, whether it's with APS or American Express directly. And I I appreciate everyone taking the time out today. Thank you, everybody. Hey, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye bye.